This is the Russian BMP-3F and it's been optimised for amphibious use. The main armament is retained as the standard BMP-3 and as you can see it's a 100mm gun which in addition to firing conventional rounds of ammunition can also fire a laser guided projectile out to a range of about 4,000 metres. Mounted coaxial is a 30mm cannon and mounted on the other side is a 7.62 coaxial machine gun and uniquely if you look at the front of there, it's also got one 7.62mm machine gun mounted either side and they will supply suppressive fire during assault. The main disadvantage of this vehicle is that the engine is at the back which makes it difficult for the crew to rapidly enter and leave the vehicle. It is however fully amphibious and it's propelled in the water by two water jets at the rear. Before entering the water we have to erect the trim vane at the front. And in addition, the bilge pumps are switched on and also a snorkel is raised to the wear of the turret to allow air to come in into the vehicle. In addition, it's got a special anti-splash device around the top of the turret so the commander and gunner are not swamped. This vehicle has been in large numbers for the export market. The basic BMP3, the largest user, in fact, is the United Arab Emirates, but many other countries use it as well. In fact, it is the most well-armed well vehicle of its type in the world. But perhaps some other vehicles have better protection, but still being marketed. And recently, Russia has developed a new version with the engine at the front. So I think we'll see the BMP3 for many years to come. And this is the unique version, especially for amphibious operations, called the BM3F.